What's going on, everybody? Afflicted Gamer here, and welcome back to another Division video. It's Friday. It's time for the weekly vendor reset. You know what that means. I will go from place to place, DC checkpoint to checkpoint, to find out what the best items are for sale this week in the Division to save you guys the time and the trouble. So if the video is helpful in any way, shape, or form, please drop it a like. It's much appreciated. And if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Division content. Now, double check this vendor here in the terminal and the one at Camp Clinton, because if you do own one blueprint, it will go across all of your characters. I pretty much own everything. Oh, well, there is a snub nose rhino here. So that means there is still one other weapon blueprint. Check it out just in case it is anything good. There might also be electronics mod blueprints, stamina, firearms, performance mods, anything like that that you may need. So double check this vendor and like I said, the one also at Camp Clinton. Now in terms of our exotics for the week, let's take a look. And again, remember anything that is at the vendor's nine times out of ten you will have to optimize the stuff so if i see something and it has good rolls on it i will point it out div tech is very easy to come by so pick up the item if you need it optimize it and you're good to go so the historian has 160 percent headshot damage with cool headed unforgiving and history repeats unforgivings on it which is nice so you can reroll cool headed for something else optimize it and you have yourself a good historian the Pecan, 21% damage to targets out of cover with Prepared, Adept, and Pecan, which is pretty good as is, or you could even reroll Adept for something else if you wanted to. The Liberator, 22% enemy armor damage with Intense, Unforgiving, and Brutal. I would pass, unless you are a fan of Brutal, then you could reroll Intense for something else. Centurion, Expert, and Ferocious, if you want to pick that up to pair it up with the Liberator, but I would actually just pass. Same thing with the Cassidy. Now, in terms of the regular gear, that's not a bad AUG Para XS. For those of you that are still using them, you could use this with a skill build if you wanted to. Just reroll Meticulous for something else. And other than that, let's see if do we have anything good here at all. Hopefully, we will have some decent stuff scattered throughout these safe houses. Vigorous chest plates, no, not that great. I know a lot of people still like to see this stuff, so for the very first part, I do show what is available at the Special Equipments Vendor, and other than that, I will just go to the best stuff that we have for sale. Alright, that's everything for downstairs, let's move on and hope for a good week. Next up, if you make your way down to Camp Hudson, there are two items for sale here, especially if you are a new or returning player to the Division. Don't pass up this level C, 20% enemy armor damage on it. You've also got Ferocious, Fierce, and Adept. I would reroll Fierce for something else, and you have yourself a good PvE Lavoa C. I'm sure you, saw, you can hear the difference in my voice with the mic. Sorry, the mic is damaged, and I had to swap out to this one. Small Grip is also here. 18% critical hit damage, 4.5% reload speed, and 2% accuracy, which you can grab and throw on the level of C amongst your other weapons. I would for sure grab that. Next up, skew it on over to the gear vendor, and for, I think, the fourth week in a row, we now have damage to Elite's mods. So if anybody missed the previous week's, Pick this one up, 190 electronics, 3% damage to elites. On top of that, we do have a firearms mod, 264 firearms and just under 3,000 health. This item here is again for the new and returning players, so grab a few of those until you get some better ones and put them on your builds. Your next stop is on the east side of town at the Firewall Safe House. He has one item for sale here. It is a vigorous chest plate, 1236 stamina, 5% enemy armor damage, over 14,000 health, and kill XP in the minor. I would reroll the kill XP for ammo capacity, optimize it, and you're good to go. Alright, the next stop is at the Madison Stand Safe House. He's got one item for sale here, which is a prototype stamina mod. 266 stamina with over 3,000 health. 266 is almost a max roll, 267 is, and with over 3,000 health on it, honestly, you really can't go wrong. I would go ahead and pick a few of these up and put them on your builds. I'm actually going to grab a few myself. Okay, now making our way into the dark zone. That was everything for sale in the light zone at the West 
31st Street DZ checkpoint. She has one item for sale here, which is a prototype performance mod. 2% pulse critical hit chance. 2% is a max roll. So if you'd like to run pulse, I would go ahead and pick a few of these up and throw them on your build. I was actually talking back to her. That's why the audio is longer. Your next stop will be in the DZ-03 safe room. There's one weapon for sale here, which is a tactical SASG-12K. Ignore that score for the moment and take a look at the rolls. 346% stagger, responsive, deadly, and unforgiving. Absolutely perfect for either PvP or PvE. We all know that the Showstopper will be getting a nerf in the near future, so if you want an alternative to the Showstopper, I would go ahead and pick this thing up, optimize it, and you will be set with a really, really good shotgun. Alright, one more stop up at the West 42nd Street DZ checkpoint. There's one item for sale here, which is an extended mag. This will be geared more towards the new or returning players to the game. It's not bad by any means, but the veterans will probably have a 120% by now. This one, however, 115.5% mag size, 4% critted damage, and 3% critted chance. If you don't have a better one than this, honestly, just grab a few of these for now and put them on your weapon until you get something upwards of 120 percent all right next is up at east 58th street dz checkpoint he has one item for sale here for those of you that are a fan of the rapid chest plate you want something other than barrett's or vigorous pick this one up 1252 electronics nine percent skill haste four percent all resistance which you can reroll for health and 55 percent ammo capacity in the miner honestly for a rapid chest plate you couldn't ask for a better setup than this one here so pick it up if you need it okay and for our very final stop of the week we're going to make our way into the dz08 safe room so for those of you that have been eagerly waiting for the return of you know it the one the only the tulip jacket it's back pick it up and turn yourself into a pvp monster trust me the jacket will not let you down if it does it's the player not the jacket Final item is over at the gear vendor. He has one item here, which is a relentless backpack. Fantastic for skill builds. This allows you to not need any form of a healing skill when running a skill build. You can use seeker mines and sticky bombs at the same time. You know, seekers and turrets, anything of that sort, because you get 5% of the damage dealt by skills returned as healing. This thing is fantastic. If you've never used one, I would pick this one up. 1133 electronics, which you will have to bump up. 13,000 health and ammo capacity in the miner. You could keep it as is and optimize it or change the major attribute from health to skill power and bump your skill power up even higher. So there you have it. That was everything that we had for sale this week in the division that was worth taking a look at. Again, I hope that the video was helpful. Don't forget that you can always follow me on Twitter at AfflictedGamer and the stream times for me to be live here on YouTube are at the end of the video. Other than that, have a great week, agents, and I'll see you soon in the next video or in the next live stream.